I'm always like AI, like we talking about practice? We talking about practice? But me doing that, literally now I'm in triple threat online, you leave me open, people think I'm hacking because I will go seven for seven. I will go for eight for eight and it really doesn't matter who I'm using. Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Moles Bowen. I've been asked about this video for a long, long time and I apologize for not getting it out sooner, but it is how I increased my shooting percentage from basically 20 to 30% to 50 to 60%, how I've been able to hit shots way, way better. It's not just literally me shooting better shots, it has a lot more to do because I was shooting wide open and I was missing in the beginning of the game. And now we learned and we went through all the trials and tribulations of understanding the new adjustments to the game. And I think I'm ready to tell you guys what is up, what you should be looking for and all that. So before we begin, let's just simply talk about how this 2K has changed shooting from previous 2Ks by far because there was something we always looked at in every single 2K and it's not the same, it is not the same. So once you figure that out and start working on changing your understanding, it's literally gonna make you such a better, better shooter. So let's begin with something that I've never ever done in previous 2Ks. People used to tell me when I get a card, yo, go to freestyle, work on their shot. And I'm like, nah, man, like I am a good enough shooter every year where I'm like, I don't have to worry about this. I know I can learn it on the fly. I'm just gonna go play a game and I got this. The reason was because literally you're looking at the top of the release of the shot. You're seeing when they're letting go and your money. This year, if you actually decide to do that, you are in trouble. You are literally in trouble if you decide to do that because everything is gonna be late. It's gonna be slightly late. You're never gonna be able to time your shot. You literally will not be able to time it one bit. So we are starting with my boy Scotty Pippen. He has my most badges, so he's gonna be my most lethal. But I'm basically gonna start explaining to you guys what shot timing is what release timing is, what all this stuff is, and what you should be looking for from your players so you can start greening more and definitely not leaving points on the table when you shoot. So first things first, I completely understand that that was Scotty Pippen and Scotty wasn't gonna miss that much. But here we are with Elgin Baylor, one of the guys people hate the most, hate his shot with the passion. But you leave me open with him and I'm hitting that shot nine times out of 10, all day, every day. So let's begin with the shot timing release time. So in the beginning of the game, when this was released, when this was added, this is something new, everyone was like, yo, early, very early. This is gonna make my jump shot faster. Guys shoot slow, let me speed up their jump shots. That's not how that works. This literally is where your green window moves. If you shoot a lot of lates, you're usually shooting lates and you want to put it on late because that's where you're going to be able to green the most. If you shoot a lot of earlies, like some players, the problem is some players I shoot early with, some players I shoot late with. So you gotta like have to see how you mainly do it, right? There's no normal like kind of middle ground. It's either I shoot a lot of earlies, I'm gonna do this. I shoot very early, which is something that's weird if you shoot very early. Hold that button a little bit longer. I know most people this year so far from a month into the game, we're moving kind of late slash very late. There are people that still shoot on early, which is fine, perfectly fine if that's what you're rocking with. If you're shooting very early or late, I'm kind of thinking you gotta try to narrow it down in the middle ground, I believe. Honestly, it's up to you though. It's kind of preference on how long you like to hold your buttons. Like I said, every player is kind of different. Every person is different as well. I like late personally because it gives me the room to see the window, right, to understand it, and then kind of push it a little further. We got to note that players, whether they're fatigued, whether there's a contest, all that, they shoot a little differently too. That's why I think late is best because it gives me that extra room to adjust to that new jump shot. It gives me, I, I like, if it's early, now I got to like time it faster. I got to process it faster in my head. And now what are we processing? And this is what brings me to this very moment. This is the very moment of actually practicing. Yes, AI, we talking about practice. I'm literally gonna bring you guys every single player that I rock with, every single player, and tell you guys what we're looking for. So like we were saying with the top of the release, if we do that this year, everything is gonna be very late to late because this year, you're not looking for that. This year, it's based on the windup. Once your player locks their arms, once the lock is done, 
that's when you need to release the ball. It's actually crazy. It's literally the moment his arms lock in, ball over his head, that kind of vibe. That's when I know I'm letting go of that bad boy and watching it rain, rain, rain. So in the past, I would literally look, right? In every year, I would look and that's when I would let go. You see, slightly late. That's what I would have let go on every other year. Now I'm letting go once it, I'm still slightly late, but it's okay. As long as you're very, very close to what your release is, you will hit whites. People say whites don't go in. That's not true. If you're really, really close, I'm talking like you're green, like you're right there. And that's why I play with no shot meter. We can discuss this right now. So without a shot meter, it increases my weight window to hit shots right your green window just increases and that helps you out in the long run so i'm literally gonna go through a bunch of players that i wasn't able to shoot with at first maybe or what i would look at for every single player so iguodala's tell is literally his feet that's what i focus on i literally don't miss with this iguodala i look at his feet once his feet kind of come together that's when i let go i kind of let go then that's when i know his arm is about to come up that's when I know he's locked and he's ready to go. So literally just going into here, I think it's very, very important. Literally practice. It's something I've never, ever, ever done in my life. I've never went into freestyle and people could vouch for that. I've never been a freestyle shooter. I've literally, I'm always like AI, like we talking about practice. We talking about practice, but me doing that, literally now I'm in triple threat online. You leave me open. People think I'm hacking because I will go seven for seven. I will go for eight for eight, and it really doesn't matter who I'm using. We'll keep substituting players in. I love my boy Lamar Odom's jump shot. Lamar's jumper is beautiful. His lock is literally easy to tell. It's literally when his elbow is like this. Once I see his elbow like this, I know that's money. I know that's money. It's also like his feet kind of fell out. So we just got to find those, find those tells. Find those tells, and once you find them, it's wraps. I love shooting on the left side. And I'm trying to get used to not doing that because that's where my face cam is. I want you guys to be able to see better. I literally hate this side of shooting. I'm I'm literally a shooter from the other side. But literally, it's just his elbows. That's what it is. And I noticed I needed to come in here. Literally, when I got Jermaine O'Neal and Elgalskis and stuff like that, I was like, bro, I need to time these better. Once I got Elgin Baylor, even Odom, I was struggling with at first. I was struggling because I'm so used to a certain play style where I'm waiting for the release at top. But now you know, now you know you literally could hit with anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if they are shooter or not. Literally practice everything. I haven't even practiced with Larry Johnson, but now that I know like this is it, and I'm sorry, I, sometimes I'm greening when I stop talking. It's just like, I'll mess up my words or whatever. But not nah, like literally just me knowing what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for. And I do shoot a lot of slightly earlies with this card for some reason. I'm still like getting used to him. His releases is like slower than I expect it to be, but it's literally his lock. It's when his body starts moving forward. That's when I know it's locked. That's when I know it's locked. That's when I know it's time to let go. It's time to let go. So just find that hitch, find that sweet spot. It's literally no longer the top. It's the lock. It's the lock. It's literally when, when they ready. It's when they ready. It's when they ready. Just practice this. I'm telling you, freestyle will change your game up. It's literally a game changer, and I know it for a fact. Once you start figuring out for players you're using, you're going to green so much more. You're going to love me. You're going to thank me. You're going to share this video to everybody. You're going to subscribe. You'll go from being a decent shooter to a great shooter in no time. Literally no time. Whenever I'm struggling with anybody, like one guy I've struggled with, right, is Jermaine O'Neal. Like right now, I'm shooting with guys that are easy. But for example, Jermaine O'Neal, tough shooter, tough shooter. His mid range is cool. So we start learning it from here. We start learning it from here. And then I start bringing it out. If I miss from out here, I see it's late. Guess what? I just got to adjust. I got to find this tell. I hit a couple mid ranges. I hit a couple of them. And then I'm ready to go back up. So I just hit two in a row. I'm trying to find this tell. I got it, I think. I think I got it, but I practice another one. Okay, I see where it is. I'm obviously wide open right now, so I have no excuses, right? I have no excuses. So I'm practicing my wide open jumpers. I'm literally just finding my tell. And then once I'm in game, I know my tell and bang. That's literally all it is. That's literally all it is. I can shoot that now from here. Now I'm ready. Now I'm locked and loaded. And we can go down the list. Any player, whoever it is, we've literally hit threes with Joakim Noah at this point in the year. Literally, dude has a 43 or 30-something three or whatever it is. And we've hit that. Why? Because of practice. Literally practice. Just sitting here, labbing up, 
A lab and up. Now you can't leave my Giannis open because I got that thing on lock. I'm not greening right now, but I got it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's here. It's here. It's in the vaults. I know where I'm going, and I'm hitting that. And that's important, man. Just being consistent enough, just putting in the work, thinking to yourself, like, I'm not good at this part of the game, right? I'm not good at shooting here. I'm not good at doing this. And now I know I'm ready for when better cards come out. I'm ready to go off with them because I put in the work already. I put in the work to figure out these guys' jump shots. It doesn't matter who it is. You start understanding it. You start getting it. And then now I don't even need to practice with certain guys. Now I'm ready to go into a game. I know exactly what I'm looking for per jump shot. I'm looking for what I'm literally feeling, right? And it's literally that lock. You saw it on Stockton. Stockton's lock is easy to note because he brings it back and then he, he pauses. That's that lock. That's what I'm talking about. I think... I hope I explained that right or you guys understood it, but that's the lock position where it's like he he He's ready. He's ready to let go right before the release. I hope that makes sense I hope it does and I hope it helps you guys out a lot So make sure you figure out your preference between late and early and stuff and don't change it much Because that's something that was hurting me a lot. I used to change it a lot when the game first came out I couldn't figure it out. I was like I'm gonna figure it out like this one game I'm shooting earlies one game I'm shooting on late and then I realized, nah, I gotta pick one and go with it. I think late is the best one personally, but we're all different at the end of the day. So figure it out from there. I made a video on coaches and how much coaches help. I will link that down below. I think that coaching video will also help you out a tremendous amount more than you actually think. And I'm gonna continue to drop a couple more tip videos for you guys. I hope my videos are helpful in every way, shape, or form. And this is why I still run this stock until this day, because my boy's jump shot is fluid. I know where that lock is all day you leave me open and it is green bean butter biscuits all right with all that said guys i hope this video was helpful i hope i helped you guys out a little bit i'm sorry it's kind of late i definitely wish to drop this earlier i i was ready to drop it a little bit earlier without a doubt but that's on me 100 percent i've been grinding too much on the no money spent with all that said i would love if you guys hit that sub button if you haven't already done so like and uh, share with anyone that you think it might help in the future as we hit a slightly late. That was our first one, not green, right? My boy is green, bro. He is so green. And I'm not even shooting on my favorite side, which is that left side. I love that left side. I feel like I could see the jump shots a lot better. And I'm ready for the next cards to drop. I'm ready for the better cards. And I should have had a dice in here, but I don't have a dice. And I would have showed you guys how to do it even with a really, really fast release. But with all that said, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Mo's Bowling. Y'all know the drill and balling out.